My name is Paul. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm basically sharing my, you know, top, I guess, Google Sheets skills or tips or hacks or secrets. And uh, first things first, why am I sharing those secrets is because oftentimes, you know, data analysts or advertising specialists, you know, like to feel special because we're all narcissists in a way and they are hoarding information or they're hoarding the secrets or their money or their resources and they're not sharing them. And one of my core values is generosity. Uh, and I believe it's just a superior character. Uh, trade at the, at the end of the day. And um, yeah, everybody who is not generous is living in scarcity, but that's besides the point. So another reason why I'm sharing those is because honestly, those are just simple, um, you know, Google Sheets formulas. It's not really rocket science. And I think we should all be a little bit more humble because we're not SpaceX, okay? We're not shooting boosters into orbit. We're selling widgets on Amazon. Now, of course, if you have 3000 SKUs and like on average 100 targets per SKU, um, and like on average 20 campaigns per skew that it becomes rocket science, right? Because you have more moving parts. But long story short, uh, you can see the football here in the back. So I played, uh, you know, college football when I was uh, here. And uh, at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, then I got kicked out. But uh, I, one of my idols was, all, was always Tom Brady. And I remember with vividly that Tom Brady used to say that uh, he does not hoard information from his you know, uh, backup quarterbacks because he still believes that even though he has the same or less information, he still believes he will beat you. So I just believe that so deeply in myself that I am, uh, uh, you know, a superior competitor. Like on either on human level, we're all the same. We're all, you know, all have the same value. The king and the peasant have the same value on human level. But, you know, I think if you don't share your secrets and you hold on to your secrets, um, then I believe that's a sign of insecurity. And yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Tom Brady is one of my role models when it comes to that behavior because if Tom Brady wasn't holding back his secrets, you know, towards his um, backup quarterbacks, then, then who am I, you know, to hold on to inform like information. So long story short, and like another reason why I'm sharing this is basically just, I guess this is like mindset. It's basically because I just love humanity and I just want to see the standards in the industry rise and not, um, yeah, not say the same because like we should all push each other. And honestly, that like that forces me to get better. So yeah, that's really the reason why I'm sharing those, uh, you know, secrets, I guess. And this is really from one of my, you know, mentors, uh, Sam Ovens. He always talked about, um, you know, being full stack because if you're just a PPC specialist, uh, but you're not, you know, competent in, for example, SEO or data analysis or even accounting, then you will always think in a silo, right? But you have to understand the interconnectedness because everything is connected. That's the law of nature. You have to you don't have to do nothing. I'm just recommending that you start to see the correlation between departments and not thinking in, 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 in silos, right? So he talks about the fact that uh, you have to be full stack. And that's why I believe every data analyst should also have p like competency when it comes to PPC and get out of your comfort zone uh, and not always stay in your comfort zone and vice versa, because that just, you know, makes you a superior operator to people who just think in, I like in silos. So long story short, let's dive into it. So this might be, you know, too basic for some of you. Some of you are probably advanced enough to, and you probably already know most of those operations, but I am still a, you know, encourager of the basics because most people want the advanced tactics and, and yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, the people who master and drill the basics are the best, bro. That's why Michael Jordan has a, I think close to 90% free throw rate and is uh, undefeated in the finals. And LeBron does not have a close to 90% free, uh, free throw rate because like he, he doesn't say, oh, I already know how to uh, operate free throws, but he's like co continuously wrapping the fundamentals, the basics, right? Yeah, so first things first, uh, shift space, uh, command shift, yeah, shift space, then uh, command E, and then of course, like freeze the top row. And yeah, I mean, you should record a macro. This is like an Excel file in Google Sheets. That's why I'm not able to run a macro, but with a macro, you can automate it. That's the super basics, okay? Then the one of the most useful operations that I like to utilize is basically running a, you know, basically the question that I have, for example, as a PPC specialist is, are all, you know, search terms in, keywords, like in campaigns as keywords. So the first thing uh, that we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're obviously going to create filters. So after that, of course, this is in German, but you get the structure. We're going to uh, clear and filter for uh, keywords and you should do the same thing for uh, product targets as well, but it's the same principle. So next we have downloaded the search term impression share report. And of course I've blurred out the, the data, but now, for example, one of the questions is, okay, do I, are all of my, um, you know, keyword like search terms that I have generated sales for in uh, you know, in a dedicated campaign. So for this, I got to just like, uh, you know, for this, we are basically, uh, I just got to set this to like, you know. so first things first, we need a uh, match formula. So match just, you know, gives us the, you know, so first of all, we select the, what we want to match and then we say, select the range. Then we go to, uh, keywords, boom, you know, and now we basically, you know, see the, um, we basically see the position where 
we see the position of the search term in the keyword set. So now we can just go ahead and select, uh, you know, this number. And that basically just, you know, shows us if that search term is in a campaign. And now you can, of course, uh, you know, conditional formatting. It's not, again, it's, we're not, I mean, it's kind of like intellectually, um, you know, challenging, but I also like to be humble because I, I, I hate people, hate people who are arrogant, you know, and, 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 you know, have vanity. I, this is really, yeah. Anyways, this is not the purpose of this video. So basically, uh, now you can go ahead, uh, false, red, you know, boom, and then go back, uh, insert, uh, data, create filters, uh, one second, uh, uh, create filters. Um, and of course, filter for all search terms that are not in a dedicated, you know, especially exact match performance campaign, because that obviously, I mean, as you can see, they're super tight, you know, we don't, like we only have seven in total. So of course, if we put those into exact match performance campaigns, we have, you know, high control on like on budget and on bit level for that search term. And then, and then again, like cross check it with the search volume and identify, you know, keywords with, you know, high search volume, but even with low search volume, some people think they're too good for those search terms, but like, I mean, have 100, 200 of like of those search terms with low search volume, but you, you know, you acquire like hundred percent of the, of the order share. That's a different, you know, argument. That's why I like to say humble, you know, and not be arrogant because like we can always, you know, get better. That's a great book recommendation. Uh, ego is the enemy. I think it's by the former. Yeah. Anyways, that's besides the point. So not next, you know, we basically want to, so that's the first. The second one is basically everybody probably already knows this, but um, in case you don't, I'm always speaking to the person, to the one person out of a hundred that do doesn't know how to operate because I want to like speak to everybody. So if you think, you know, this is not uh, like relevant to you, feel free to click off the video and let's continue. So first we want the portfolio, put that into rows underneath. We want the uh, customer search term. Then in values, I like to put the like total sales. I like to put conversion rate. Of course, there's an average, but step by step then impression share, and we can also look at like CPC, I guess, uh, and clicks. And yeah, now we basically select uh, average for conversion rate, of course, CPC, average, clicks, sum, and yeah, search term, like impression share, average. So now, okay, we want to focus on, like with the attention of acquiring more market share, probably, uh, we want to go ahead and basically identify, for example, here in row 52, search terms or product targets that are you know, generating sales, we have proof of concept, but we have a relatively low CPC and relatively low, you know, average impression rank. And obviously like the conversion rate is relatively, oh no, this is the search impression rank, my bad. Uh, so basically, and here's the conversion rate. So basically, you know, now we intend to isolate it into a, you know, single per time campaign on, you know, just like a manual, uh, you know, campaign, you know, it's your, your, your call if you want to put it into a single target or a multi-target campaign. And now we just insert it with a, you know, high CPC. And then of course we also have to track it, right? We have the acquiring more market share. We use a system like this where we track week over week, you know, the bid changes. And if we increase our impression share and, you know, load our ACOS and increase sales, because if you're not tracking, you're slacking, <laughs> right? right? Shout out to Brandon Carter. Um, but that's obviously a, a technique that you can utilize or a tactic that you can utilize to, um, yeah, increase market share. Of course, it's a hypothesis, you have to test your hypothesis, but it's definitely going to increase the probability of, you know, acquiring more market share. And yeah, so those are like, you know, top two, one more, I guess. Uh, and if you like that kind of content, uh, feel free to comment down below and request more of that. Um, so let's say you have uh, a, then you have two data sets that are not, you know, daily aggregation and you are intending to, you know, evaluate the, I don't know, week over week performance. There are other use cases. It's basically like the same as a look, like VLOOKUP, just, um, yeah, I mean, you can use either or like you can either, either use the VLOOKUP or the index match. So the index match is basically just uh, first we have the index, uh, then we select the, um, like the ASIN. And then, of course, I blurred it out again. Then we basically have a, so the use case for that is just like mapping um, data based on, you know, the same criteria. So if you have two like segment data sets, that's a great formula that you can utilize to, um, yeah, just like map the data. You can also use the VLOOKUP. Uh, I just like index match, but I also recommend just to keep a note, notepad of the top formulas that you like to utilize. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and basically uh, like insert this formula here with like this. So we learn it, right? The first, uh, you know, variable is basically the volume of the data that you want to return. So that's the, the first thing. Then next we want to nest it uh, into the match formula, right? And in the match formula, we want to, uh, we don't, Anyways, we want to then select the uh, parameter based on which we return the value, which in this case is the ASIN. 
Then lastly, we want the, uh, you know, row of the ASIN. We can also just like do it like this, you know, boom. And lastly, like this is just telling, you know, the formula, is it an exact mesh or not? And then it's returning the value of, you know, calorie 25, you know, into this sheet. And that bas that's basically one, you know, it's like the VLOOKUP formula, but um, yeah, just a little bit different. And then for example, if you have a lot of NAs, you can just uh, quickly insert if error, boom, you could say if in, in like if error, you know, whatever, like slash or whatever, but if you don't input anything, that's just going to return a blank. So yeah, I think that's a good start. That's like the basics. I believe every, you know, op operator on Amazon should, you know, be able to, you know, execute. And thank you for your time. My name is Paul. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you drew value from this video, feel free to submit content requests. And yeah, let's, let's support this channel. And I'm on a mission to be the number one channel that gives you the most value in the Amazon PPC space.